Hey, what's up guys? It's sick and we're gonna do a second video for NQ2 Necro. Now, uh, the first video was like 43 minutes. I'm sorry about that. There's a, there was a lot of stuff to go over in the frequent last questions. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on that today, but I've gotten some few questions on like, okay, cool. Necros sound great. How do I make my Necro awesome? Now, I definitely don't have all of the answers. Many of these things I'm about to say are my opinions. Um, if you sat down and spent a bunch of time, you might come up with uh, a different, you know, different stuff that you think is important or that you want to do. That is totally cool. Um, I did put some stuff in the overview page and frequently asked questions to kind of cover some of these things. Uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look at this and I'll show you what I mean. So, uh, what type threes should I get? So this is going to change depending on the content and the expansion that you're doing. Um, obviously like you're not going to have these whenever the level is like 130 or whatever, right? So these change. Um, you need your luminous restless ice thing. This is going to increase your damage from a percentage base, like 7%. Um, and then I have some examples of what type threes to get your, like your main pyre venom and wounds. Like you, you need those like out the gate without even questioning any other stuff you may be trying to squeeze in. Um, and there's some like caveats here, like Proclamation of Blood, you can drop this one. It's minimal for the actual damage. You really only want the synergy from it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It be a waste of a type three slot. Um, things like Grip and Denvin's Decay, uh, it depends. Like, are you using the combination thing? Like, hopefully we'll get an, uh, in 2.0, like TOL 2.0, hopefully we get an upgrade for it, uh, which would be super sweet because that would be a nice, a nice bump. Uh, but for like gr the group content, for example, we use Danvid's combination because you get two spells in one cast. Um, so depending on the content that you're doing, you might want that. Uh, uh, what focuses should we get? And what I mean by what focus should we get? This is your focus tab, like which ones you should you prioritize first. Um, Pyre of Jarab, this is your main pyre. This is like your short uh, pyre short spell line this is this one here pyre of uh ba zakra like i always get this one first um on necros that i'm leveling up just because it's your bread and butter it's like the first dot that you're casting and you get the most damage from um then i'm going to do synergy next because it's going to help the rest of your group and then just kind of go down the line for your focuses important aas necros have a lot of aas there are a lot of aas that are crap like you need dead mesmerization and like fear storm no like we don't use them i don't use them if you were manually playing by yourself and soloing and doing a bunch of like like cool fun stuff like necros like to do yeah you'd get that for automation purposes no i don't really care i want to make sure i have things like enhanced decay critical affliction destructive cascade like i want all of those like as soon as possible i want uh, death bloom and blood magic gift of mana Heretics Twin Cast, Sympathetic Amplification, Twin Proc, uh, the focuses that I listed above, like those are all important. I get all of those out of the way first. Um, and uh, I have a weird thing with AA spend where I let AA spend do the stuff, but I also like to, I like to, like to, like to meddle, right? So like if I have, if I have something that's like 18 out of 19, I'll be like, ooh, I can finish this one up, even if it's a crap one. Sometimes I'll do that or I'll go in and cherry pick some other stuff so i'll let aa spend do their magic and then uh, i'll keep a nice high bank and then i'll um i'll manually pick some of the stuff here i do not like defining all of the aas and telling aa spend what to buy i just do order five three two one four with a bank of like 220 and then i'll go and like do i need any components yes you need essence emeralds tiny coffins and bone chips um now like Bone chips don't get expended anymore. You still have to have one on your person. Uh, tiny coffins, we use this for summoning. Essence emeralds, we use this for resurrection. What clicky should I have and where should they be? I get this question a lot on stuff. I should probably start adding this into uh, into videos. But You want the best familiar you can get, which right now is the personal... Uh... Spell that wrong in the thing. It's like Hemetic, right? No, it's Hemic. Yeah, personal hemic source. Oh, I did spell it wrong though. That's okay. The personal hemic source. This is your little like blood bag familiar. Uh, the best mount you can get, Albert Saddle. Uh, best mask you can get, John's Veil. 
Um, now these put in downtime and we handle all of all of the stuff in EverQuest uh, in your key ring button familiars auto leave turn auto leave on now this is an EverQuest thing this is not like a plugin thing or a macro quest thing you do not have to own any key rings like it's auto leaving auto dismissing familiars is built in so you just open that key ring familiars tab auto leave good to go now you're never gonna have to worry about um, we're back um, other downtime, I mentioned in the other video, I use brownies or vitric for uh, being able to see if they have weapons or not. Uh, burn, Rage of Rolfon, uh, Unified Phoenix Feather, your robe, uh, Health Self, I toss my robe in there, Mana Self, Dazzling Mod Rod, Shrink Group, uh, whatever my pet earring is. Um, so these are just some examples of stuff you'd put in burn. There's other stuff too. Necros are one of those one of those things where you really want to spend some time and figure out like is it worth casting the thing because it may have been worth casting the thing back in like you know 1473 but it might not be worth casting it in 2022. So. Anyway, that's just uh, some stuff about spells. Um, I uh, if you were getting rank threes, I would make sure you get like your pyre of drab and wound. Uh, as soon as possible. Now, off the top of my head, I think Wounds is 120 and Pyre of Jarab is 119. That is spell 120. So I actually just added a thing for Stad. What the hell? So I just added a thing for MQ2 status. Let me show you that real quick. So status, spell 120. So it'll tell me what 120 spells I have. It takes a glowing and then like what's, what stuff is here. So infected wounds is 120. Now let's do, let's check the spell itself. Status, spell, fire of Ba Zakra. an extra space in there that is spelled pyre of Va zakra and it says greater pyre of Va zakra 119 so this is a like using the new status thing in here is a good way to be able to check like hey i don't i don't know what that is um let me let me take a look without like opening your spells and doing all that crap so um i would i would get those kind of spells first just your your biggest bread and butter your biggest biggest value spell first and uh and go from there but um these should give you some tips on how to uh get the most out of your necro um type fives you want to do heroic stamina unless if they change anything in the future which is very possible and hopefully is a thing they do um you're just going to get the best bang for your buck with having a giant health pool between the converging uh the conversion of uh health to mana um, and giving you just more wiggle room for AoEs and taking damage and stuff. Just a giant health pool is really helpful. Unfortunately, Heroic Int does not give you the same uh, sort of benefit as Heroic Dex does for melee classes. Um, so you really don't get a whole lot of value for it. Now, because of how much stats are and where diminishing returns are, if you're stacking anything, you're going to get values from other stuff. So if you did end up stacking Heroic Int because you wanted to get a larger mana pool, um, that's cool. It's going to give you some Heroic Stamina as well, so at least you're not like starving to death for hit points. Um, now you can be real clever. What's one last thing? Yeah, one last thing. I don't think I have it on this particular dude. Yeah, I don't. I don't. My shit's empty as fuck. Um, you can have two, two type seven or eights in a two hander. So we talked about yesterday, the one hander for mana proc return or two hander for just proc for more damage. The thing is you can use two, uh, two striking procs, right? So if you have the, uh, current, um, you know, the current two hand proc aug, 
and you are able to have the COV proc aug. Now you have two primary big stat items that give you big procs. So, uh, or not stat items, but you get the idea. Two augs. Um, anyway, so that's just some extra stuff for Necro. I will talk to you guys soon.